Hello everyone, welcome back. This is part 19 of the design patterns tutorial. In this session, we will discuss what is composite design pattern, implementation guidelines of composite design pattern, and we'll take a look at a simple example to implement this pattern. Please refer to the previous parts of the tutorial before proceeding. As per the Gang of Four definition, composite pattern states that we need to compose objects into tree structures to represent part whole hierarchies. Composite lets client treat individual objects and composition of the objects uniformly. Let's now first understand what composition means. Composition means a thing made up of several parts or elements. In software engineering, the composite pattern is a partitioning design pattern. So we can say that the composite pattern describes a group of objects that is treated the same way as a single instance of the same type of the object. Let's now take a look at the implementation guidelines of composite design pattern. We need to choose composite design pattern when we want to represent part whole hierarchies of objects. When we want clients to be able to ignore the differences between composition of objects and individual objects which means clients will treat all objects in the composition structure uniformly let's now take a look at the representation diagram of composition design pattern as per the gang of four definition clients use the component interface to interact with the objects in the composite structure component is the abstraction for all components including composite ones Component declares the interface for objects in the composition. And the leaf represents leaf objects in the composition. Leaf implements all the component methods. The composite represents a composite component. Please note that composite components have children and they could be composite childs or leaves. Also, composite implements methods to manipulate children. Composite also implements all component methods generally by delegating them to its children. If you take a closer look at this representation diagram, the composite pattern can violate the Liskov substitution principle as we end up with a dummy implementation of add and remove methods at the leaf throwing runtime error as add and remove operations at the leaf doesn't make any sense or significance. However, at this point of time, Liskov substitution principle is out of scope of further discussions. Hence, we strongly recommend you to refer to the Liskov substitution principle session for more details. Now, coming back to our current discussion, we should always keep in mind that a design pattern is a general repeatable solution to a commonly occurring problem in a software design. Of course, applying design pattern with the solid principles brings our best efficient code practices with problem solutions. However, our goal is to represent the part and whole hierarchy of the objects in the same way. Hence, we can change this representation slightly in a new form as shown on the screen. If we compare the previous and the current one, notice that we have changed the component methods to have the one which can be implemented by both leaf and composite nodes. Additionally, we have add and remove methods at the composite level. Let's take a look at the another representation diagram with a comparison. Notice that at the component level, we have changed it a bit to adhere to the solid design principles. After all this, you might be wondering what is composite, what is leaf and what's all this design pattern about? To answer that, we have many day-to-day -day example usage of this design pattern. Some of them are the computer representation, which consists of a system with a hierarchy. Also, an organization with an employee structure, which has employees as well as their managers in different departments. And of course, in a day-to-day -day life of a person's family tree structure can be represented as composite design pattern. Let's now switch to Visual Studio and see how we can implement this with a simple example. To save some time, I have already created a console application and created an interface called iEmployee, which has a single method implementation to retrieve the employee details. This interface is a component of this application 
and for representation purpose i have created a folder called component and moved this interface under this component folder again i would like to reiterate that it's not mandatory to follow this folder structure as we are just doing this for representational purpose now we need to create an employee that implements this interface and please note that the employee will be the leaf of the organization let's right click on this leaf and new item choose class let's name this class as employee.cs and this will be our leaf class so let's replace this code with the code which i have in my notepad to make the things faster now let's solve this issue by using interface implementation and notice that we are inheriting the i employee which is a component and the employee which is a leaf and we are implementing the get details method we are just printing the name and department of this employee in the get details method to the console program let's say we need to classify the employees in an organization and associate a designation to them in order to achieve that composite design pattern comes handy to represent that association but then the question comes how do we do that to answer that we just need to create a manager who manages his subordinates to achieve that let's create another class called manager under this composite folder right click add new item and choose a class and let's name this class as manager to make the things faster let me copy the code for this manager implementation let's resolve this missing references now as you know that manager represents a composite component which means manager has children which are called as subordinates and that subordinates are the collection of employees who are reporting to him so let's create the representation by adding list collection of employees and call them as subordinates let's quickly do that also let's initialize these subordinates in this constructor of manager as discussed in the beginning of this session we do need to implement all component methods and we achieve that by delegating them to its children now if you notice that in the get details method we are just printing the manager details only however to retrieve the details of subordinates we need to traverse through the child employees and get their details so let's do that over here for each we can take for loop or for each loop for our convenience let me take for each loop over here say var employee in subordinate collections let's just print employee dot get details for each of these manager subordinates we are going to invoke the get details method which is the leaf method of employee and notice that whenever it invokes the get details of the employee subordinates it's going to print the employee details now that we have created the component composite manager and leaf employee let's use these in the client method which is our console program let's switch to the console program to make the things faster i have already added few employees in the console program notice that we have five employees who are john mike jason eric and henry and they belong to it and hr departments also we have created two managers james and philip who belongs to it and hr department and they manage it and hr departments we have also added their subordinates according to these employees who are in it and hr department we have also created bob who is the manager of this institution or we can say that the bob is the head of the institution who manages both james and philip who belongs to it and hr department and they are the managers of it and hr department now if the end client need to get the details of bob 
we retrieve the details of Bob as well as his managers and his subordinates. Because Bob is acting as a composite manager here which traverses to the other composites as well as the leaves. To make the output represent as an hierarchical structure, I have modified the methods to print a visual indentation for managers and employees. Notice that we have added a parameter called indentation which is of type integer. Also, we have changed the implementation of get details to add this indentation before printing the name and department for the visual representation. I have done these changes both in the get details of manager as well as employee to make the things faster. Let's run this application now. Notice that we have the complete composition details of the Bob who is the head of the department and his subordinates who are James and Philip along with their subordinates which are the leaf employees. Now let's switch back to this application and do a little change over here. Instead of retrieving Bob's get details, let's retrieve James dot get details and let's run this application. Notice that we have the composition of James who is an IT manager along with his subordinates who are the leaf employees who are John and Mike. I hope now you are clear with composite design pattern implementation. In the next session, we will discuss decorator design pattern. Till then, thank you for listening and have a great day.